Just like when uh, you know a boxer, like say say there's a championship guy, you know he's like uh, he's you know on his heels or whatever because you know he's a champion already, so he's relaxed. But then you have the guy that comes in hungry and he's gonna take the title. Like the first time I was the guy and I was relaxed. This time I'm hungry. Like literally, I'm hungry. I'm kind of broke right now. <laughs> it's, it's real, real right now. I remember doing your first interview after. Um, after your first feature, feature yeah. at, Dim at Dim Lights, right? That was like two that, years ago. Yeah, it was like two years ago. What's changed since that feature to, you know, how you view things now and just basically uh, your experience with being a poet? Wow. Um, man, I've changed exponentially. I've grown exponentially since since that first feature. Um, I went through a lot of personal changes, a lot of personal uh, things that I had to find about myself. You cut the hair. Dropped a lot of friends. Cut the hair because the hair was thinning. Um, <laughs> dropped a lot of friends and learned a lot of things about myself. Uh, I moved to LA since then. Uh, you know, done a little touring here and there. Dropped a new album to Sonic Jonah. You might want to pick that up. You might want to. I heard it's hot. I heard it is too. So, you know, um, I've learned a lot, dude, about, about myself mostly. About myself mostly. A bunch of. Uh, mountains and, and peaks of myself that I'm trying to level out and in that same time and over the course of the last 24 months have been leveling out but at the same time I got a lot of work to do on myself still. Who is Judah One? Who is, who, who is Judah One? Who is Judah One? Well, let me not even be long-winded, I'm just going to give you a translation. Judah One is, Judah is Hebrew, it means praise. So, praise one. Praise one because there's one God only. Praise one. That's what you the one is. Where do you see yourself in the next, you know, in the next year? Even? It's hard for a poet to say things like that because the art is is it's strong right now, but at the same time, it's still fragile. Um, really, I just see myself taking it by coastal. I've already been Midwest, but I need to go all the way over and just continue doing what I'm doing here, just on a broader level. A lot more college shows and things like that. Um, Got a clothing line coming up, so it's, it's, it's a lot of different hustles coming up. And so it's uh, a lot, a lot outside of just getting the word out. I want people to see things differently, um, more than just about me, dude. I can, you know, go back to school and, and be perfectly fine because I'm a, I'm a philosophy major. I want to. My goal is to be a professor, a uh, philosophy professor. But in the meantime, not even in the meantime, because this is my calling. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. So I'm gonna do my best at it. I'm not even going to do my best, I'm going to do beyond my best at it because that's what I'm supposed to do.